Civil wars within parties are incredibly damaging because they signal to Canadians that we care more about ourselves than we do about them. That's why I made the difficult decision to remove Ms. Wilson-Raybould and Dr. Philpott from the Liberal caucus. That official announcement coming from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau tonight after an emergency meeting with Liberal lawmakers. Two former cabinet ministers who resigned weeks ago amid the fallout surrounding SNC-Lavalin's criminal case will not be running in the fall federal election as Liberal candidates. The final nail in the coffin, it seems, was a recorded phone call submitted by Jody Wilson-Raybould to the House of Commons Justice Committee. When that politician is a cabinet minister secretly recording a public servant, it's wrong. And when that cabinet minister is the Attorney General of Canada secretly recording the clerk of the Privy Council, it's unconscionable. Prime Minister Trudeau tonight referring to secret recordings as the reason the Vancouver MP could no longer be trusted as a member of the Liberal Party caucus. He wants to know why the DPA route, which Parliament provided for, isn't, isn't being used. And I think he's going to find a way to get it done one way or another. A 17-minute call between Wilson Raybould and Michael Wernick was submitted to the Justice Committee last week to support the former Attorney General's claims that she faced repeated and consistent pressure from the Prime Minister's office to keep a Montreal construction giant from facing criminal prosecution. There's no way that anybody would interpret this other than interference if I was to step in. Wilson Raybould resigned as cabinet minister in February, followed by Treasury Board President Jane Philpott, who said she'd lost confidence in the government over their handling of the SNC-Lavalin affair. If they can't honestly say that they have confidence in this team, despite weeks of testimony, face-to-face -face conversations and phone calls with myself and other members of caucus, then they cannot be part of this team. In this case, two members of the team are not the same So it's sad, but it's the reality of the moment. I think that the Prime Minister here has shown great leadership, listened to caucus, and then now has made his decision. I, Jody Wilson Raybould. But not everyone agrees. Anybody who believes that uh, simply removing Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philippot from the caucus solves things, takes the pressure off, is, is badly mistaken. One political scientist says it remains to be seen how the last few weeks will weigh on the minds of voters come the fall election. To do this suggests a very low level of tolerance for dissent within the Liberal Party. Um, and in that sense, I think it's sort of another self-inflicted wound. As for what's next for Wilson-Raybould, who would hope to stay on as a Liberal, that remains unclear. She tweeted tonight, I hold my head high and I can look myself in the mirror knowing I did what I was required to do and what needed to be done based on principles and values that must always transcend party. I have no regrets. I spoke the truth as I will continue to do. As for Jane Philpott, she posted a lengthy letter to Facebook this evening, began by saying she wished she'd had an opportunity to address the Liberal caucus before being expelled. She finished by saying she is committed to her Ontario riding for the remainder of the term.